Welcome back everyone to the Stocks to Trade Top 5 Stocks to Watch for the week of December 31st. All right, so wrapping up the week here, we had uh, another kind of different week with you know with the new year's holiday you know we did have a full trading day on monday but uh we did have that day off on tuesday so a little bit of a different week um on that note be sure to like and subscribe that way you get these videos straight to your inbox every week um we do one every friday as well as we release the steady trade podcast every Monday. So make sure to like, subscribe, and post a comment if you have any questions about the stocks we're talking about. What I'd like to do is, you know, as we work through these ideas that are on the weekly watch list, feel free to comment, ask a question, you know, comments, criticism. Let's kind of get that 1% better together as we work through these watch lists. So that being said, um, another pretty choppy week overall markets. You know, uh, we were we were kind of sideways beginning of the week and through the middle of the week, had that day off on Tuesday. Then uh, things got a little different at the end of the week. Last night, Thursday night, uh, Apple pre-announced their earnings, warning that, you know, that, that revenues were not going to be as good as, as they had anticipated. Market really took a hit last night, but then... We had a very solid jobs number this morning, uh, really kind of a, a unexpected boost to the jobs number and market ended up ripping all the way back, uh, which was kind of surprising. You know, Apple is the uh, 800 pound gorilla and typically where the where Apple goes, the market goes and, and was pleasing to see that jobs number and, a, you know, a nice, I think we closed up the day 3% on the SPY. So a, a nice move into the weekend, setting us up nicely for next week. So again, as always down below, be sure to subscribe to the stocks of trade com forward slash watch list. Um, again, it's Friday night as I do this video. You'll be getting, if you subscribe between now and Sunday, you'll be getting that watch list delivered straight to you. So let's get started. Um, AUPH was one of our top watches based on the fact that this was a buyout target. Um, they, they'd received an unsolicited bid last week and kind of it ran on Friday. And in the end, was an okay idea. You know, going back to the weekend, you can see this opened up Monday morning at 6.05, went as high as 6.80 on Monday. So not a bad move. And then ultimately gapped up on Tuesday uh, this up here, this 740, that's a bad print. You know, the high of the day was 720 on, uh, not Tuesday, Wednesday. Sorry, we're, 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 I'm messed up on my days here. But, uh, you know, ultimately an okay day for AUPH, but, you know, not great. Not, not what we expected. Now, the good news is you can see it did hold up through the week, um, closing in the 660s, kind of basing here. Um, still very newsy, still waiting for news, and it is a cannabis-related stock. We, we kind of keep hoping for some sort of, you know, news in the cannabis sector. Have not, still have not got that. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting, but uh, overall, not, you know, I would give this kind of a flat, even though it did gap up, you know, on, on Monday. It's, you know, it, it was not a trade. We didn't get the news we were looking for. Um, can't win them all. So uh, VTVT, this was our favorite squeeze watch um, going into that kind of low volume New Year's Day. You know, this was not, you can go back to your watch list last week. This was not at all uh, a swing trade, not at all an investment, but this had, had really ran uh, the previous Friday, and so the idea was it did pull back into the close, but still closed very green on Friday. The idea was 
you'd get a lot of stubborn short sellers that held over the weekend. Um, a little tip, if you're a new or aspiring short seller, you make your own trades, but uh, you know, a little tip, always, always, always be cautious holding these momentum uh, low float type stocks over the weekend. Uh, it, uh, it's a very dangerous game to hold short over the weekend. And most, you know, old and, you know, old and wise short sellers avoid holding short over the weekend because you see these types of moves. So ultimately VTVT, uh, opened up in the two twenties and ran to almost 350 and then pulled back to three before breaking down late day. Now, the idea was a high volume squeeze. And you can see here on Monday, it was exactly that. You're always quick with these. You know, you can, when, when we talk about these squeeze ideas, these are quick trades. You can never be out too early. You see green, you move on. You know, you repeat them, repeat them, repeat them, but they aren't overnight holds. They aren't long-term holds. You get the volume, you get the price action, and, you know, again, depending on your entry and exit, there's a solid 50, 70 cents, maybe even a dollar a share if you, if you really nailed your entries and exits. Then through the week, VTVT didn't do a whole lot, but that was to be expe expected. The plan was a squeeze on Monday on the low volume New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. A lot of traders took the day off. These are the types of stocks that squeeze on those days, the Christmas Eves, the Black Fridays, the New Year's Day or New Year's Eves, et cetera. Um, number three was Twitter. Um, you know, kind of quiet all week, but had a nice day uh, today. You know, remember, this is the stocks to watch for the week of. So, I mean, yes, VTVT made a decent move on Monday, but the idea is, these are stocks to watch through the entire week. Markets were choppy, Twitter was choppy. You know, you can see uh, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, kind of just up and down, not really doing a lot. But look at that nice break, 30 bucks. Breakout on the week, um, whole dollar, half dollar break, um, nice volume, and uh, whoops, sorry, not 30. Um, I meant to say 29. 29, sorry, I was I, I moved my cursor too high. Closed at 30, sorry. But uh, nice break at 29 and never looked back, pushed all the way in the close and dang near closed at the high of the day. So remember, keep these stocks on watch. Look for them to break out, especially on previous day levels. So Twitter, very nice. And I anticipate keeping this on the list in the next week. Love this close. Um, next was OPK. Um, another, I would call it, um, okay, uh, trade, um, never got the movement we were hoping for, um, did gap down Monday. So there was no real trade idea on Monday, but then you can see Wednesday, real solid morning, really, really broke out at that $3 level and ran all the way to 340. I mean, geez. I've got 15 minute candles here, five, six green 15 minute candles on on Wednesday, the, the holiday keeps screwing me up, but um, okay idea on Wednesday, but then just a slow grinder, but close at the high of the week, you know, um, was expecting more, you know, with these $3 stocks, you're usually looking for a bigger move than on the week than 40, 50 cents, but hey, you can see closed literally at the high of the day at four o'clock today, 355. There's there's worse trades out there. Not, not, not the best trade in the world, but there's worse trades out there. And then the last idea was AUPH, which was a complete fizzle. Um, AUPH, uh, you know, go back to last week, the, the video. Um, I was excited on Friday. I admit one of the... Uh, we, we've been starving for 52 week breakouts and we got it on Friday. You know, again, just go back through the watch list. You can see watch last week's video. Um, I'll admit this might've been the stock I was most enthusiastic about Friday, but, um, got a little bit of a gap up on Monday, but ultimately never panned out. But you can see the volume was terrible on Monday. Really, there was no news on Monday. The hope was... 
that we would get some news on Money Monday because, you know, a smart stock, you know, when these, these low price stocks, if they were smart, they would have realized, hey, we hit 52 week highs on Friday. Let's get some news out on Monday morning. Let's take advantage of the new year, you know, the new enthusiasm, et cetera. The news didn't come, the idea fizzled. So overall, I was pretty pleased. You know, OPK, not amazing, um, but okay. Uh, VTVT worked to a T, the, uh, the squeeze on Monday. And then uh, Twitter, nice close and set up for, for next week. So uh, again, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to ring the bell so then you get notified when we do these premieres. And um, again, ask a question. Let me know uh, what tickers are you looking at for next week. I would be happy. I would love to take one of your tickers and put it on next Sunday's list. And as always, click below stocksatrade.com forward slash watch list. Free watch list delivered straight to you every Sunday. Thanks a lot.